Hi, I'm Connor, and this is Autochroma by Imajiro. It's a granulizer. Granulator? Granulator. It's a granulator with a rolling buffer of sound coming in that you can shape using its three colorful streams in all sorts of ways. Let's take a closer look. At the top's that buffer I was talking about before. Autochroma is constantly writing new sound into its memory, which we'll call the buffer. Each stream will then scan along that buffer to decide what moment to pull its little granules of sound from. And there's three ways it can do that. A locked mode, where our scan head just follows the right head. A velocity mode, where we scan through the buffer at some relative speed. And a position mode, where we always pull from a specific spot somewhere in our buffer. I want to show you some cool real-time effects, so let's stick to the locked mode for now. Here's a few more controls. First up is the freeze, which decides how much you want to keep the current sound in the buffer. All the way up means the current sound is never overwritten. All the way down means it always is. The offset changes how far apart our grains can be. The rate changes how often they can occur. The length changes how long they can last. And the shape changes the envelope, or shape, of the volume for each grain over time. There's other cool controls too, like pitch, spread, and the filter, but I think if you understand those first ones, you'll be well on your way to making great things. Okay, training wheels off. Let's see what you can really do. This is Fives. It's a cacophonous harmony of jittering granules, all tuned to some fifth or octaves off our bass sound. Sounds like this are often what granulinators are well known for. Recognizable bits of an original sound plunged into mass chaos. Let's listen to each stream a little closer. Our first one is tuned up two fifths. Our second, up an octave and a fifth. And our third is just up a fifth. Oh, and by the way, you can toggle the streams either by double or right clicking. Each stream is set so that these pitched moments of sound are sparse, but frequent, and importantly, are all timed differently from each other. As you combine the differently timed streams together, they fill in each other's gaps and become full and irregular. Cool. What else? Next is Fragmented Room. This one is a room reverb, where the reflections occasionally break apart and pulsate. The idea here is that the first stream acts like some of the later, more spread reflections in the room, while the second and third streams are very short and quick, more like the early reflections. This might be a good time to briefly touch on modulation, because I'm using it to make those longer grains warble just a little bit in pitch, to make the space feel a little more lively. You can open the modulation panel from the bottom left and drag these circles to assign any of the modulators to whatever control you want to change over time. I'm just using an LFO to wiggle the pitch, and a macro to change how the grains are all spread out so you can make the room feel like it's a different size. I won't cover all the options here, but this section will really level up your autochroma game once you get comfortable with it. Finally, we have small digital radio. The premise is that we can use the far edges of the grain's timing controls to make our sound really noisy and harsh by approximating digital effects, like downsampling, and combine that with the filters to make the range of frequencies small, like they're coming out of a small speaker. Streams one and three do the noise for us. One is more gritty, and three is more digital, and two is our filtered speaker-like signal. And for now, that's it. I haven't even scratched the surface on all the kinds of colors that come from Autochroma, but if you'll let me, I'd love to have you listen a little more to my infinite sound machine.